What is going on guys? Andrew here back with another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. I don't think we built one of these yet on the channel. So let's take a peek see. What do we have here? I believe it is a 2017 Ford Mustang. See? Now we are going to be doing a little bit different. It has sport tires on it. We're putting racing tires on it because we're actually going to take this one to the track. Now we're going to either take it to the racetrack or the drag strip or maybe we'll even do both. Who knows? I've already got the parts painted. I've got the wheels assembled. I believe I even have the shocks together. I think. I could be wrong. Oh, I got one right here on the struts I should say. Oh, we got them all. Perfect. So first things first. Let's oh wait, forgot to give it a bath. Brought the dirty car into the shop, even though there's one over there. <laughs> but we're gonna make this one look a little bit nice. It's kinda gonna almost resemble my uh Mayan M3 track pack edition with the white and the white. I kinda like the white look on these cars. Looks good. Wow, look at that, eh? I think I pulled this one from the auction, if I'm not mistaken. I'll check in a second. Oh yeah, I guess I can check see where I got my lift from. Oh, wrong with this one. Yeah, I got this one from an auction. In my opinion, I overpaid for the price, but it is what it is. I've already got the block laid out. It's right here. As you can kind of tell what the offset color is going to be. No, the car is not going to be this color. Uh, we are going to be running a Coyote motor in this. We're going to actually do a little bit of a test. We're going to run the Coyote motor first, then we're going to build a supercharged motor. That I normally build in most of my other cars, but this time I'm going to try to do it as original looking as possible. Keyword being as possible. No guarantees. And there's no guarantees that I got all the parts either. So. Install the pistons. Then the caps. Then the oil pan. Yeah, what do we know? Let's put the oil filter on. Huh, almost matches the block. Wouldn't you know it? Didn't look that color when I painted it. Looked like a real dark, deep forest green. I figured, cool, something a little bit different. Not well, in this case, it's the same darn color. Alright, we've got, after this one, four rod casts, and we can install the oil pan. Get that all taken care of. I'm trying for most of the day here to get a video out to you guys. I want to see which, you know, what time frame works best for everyone. Whether it be afternoon, evening. I'm not entirely sure. Put the oil pan on. Ooh, look at that. Nice and bright white. Definitely be able to see if the oil pan gas go. Let's go. I was going to do gold, but I have way too many vehicles with the color gold on it, so I figured, you know what, let's do green and white. Make it a minty color, so to speak, but didn't quite turn out that way. Now we're going to put the plugs in. All four on this side. This motor takes 16 cam caps. Tell you one thing, the camshafts for this motor aftermarket really hurt the pocketbook. Not me, but somebody that's you know just starting out. That's why I've always said if you're gonna if you're gonna start this car or like when you begin this and you're ready to start building your own, the best vehicle to get is either going to be a bolt cape or the Wildcat. Any muscle car is going to be the best one to get, as long as you can get it for cheap. That's why it's best to go to the junkyard to find the first one. And make sure you have that welder. That way then you get full un full value for your vehicle. Alright. Get this done. Get that done. Alright, now we're going to put the header on. 
nice and creamy. And you put the cam gear, the chain, cam gear A, timing chain B. We gotta put the shoe on. So that we're gonna go dancing. All right. Now we're gonna put the power steering pump on. And minus the valve cover, this side of the motor is done. Let's work over to the other side. Come on. There we go. Not yet intake. Not yet. Now we're going to do it this way. Put the cams in. The other side, put the spark plugs in first. But this time, we're going to go cap, plug, cap. Repeat the process all the way down. Very simple, straightforward. I hope it produces a bit of horsepower. Should be about, hopefully, at least 800. At least, keyword being. I can't remember what the last one was I built. That was a while ago though. Yeah, can't quite remember what it was. We put timing chain A, cam A, or cam gear A, I shall say. We put timing chain B with the shoe. Now the front cover should be going on next. Yep. Look at that. Isn't that a nice, pretty green? I think that looks beautiful. Water pump. Water pump pulley. And I'll put the crank pulley on. Idler roller B. Got a couple of them. Perfect. Alternator. Got a few of them. Or a couple of them, I shall say. We should put the header on, eh? Perfect. Look at that. Put the cover on. The white nor the green look good on here, that's why I went black with it. Now, do I get the coils for it? No, I, I, ah, see, I forgot something. Well, it's not that I forgot, I didn't know if it was a certain style or what it was, so. We gotta take you guys along for the, count, the catalog looking. Got one, two, three. Almost forgot the fuel filter. Put the cat coil cover on. Of course, you know, I'm going to have a white one. Look at that intake. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not a fan of the color green. I'm really not. But on here, looks good. The black valve covers really set it off. And we're not putting that on yet because we've got to put the oil in it. I believe that gets in the way so we're not able to actually say what we're doing. But we'll put it on just for decoration right now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is. Alright, goes on over here. I think I actually have a pretty balanced out for color wise. Awesome. Now, let's go work on the car. All the way over here. Put her oop on the lift. All the way up, up and away. Let's bring this over because we're going to need it anyway. And Mustang. And we shall start. Oop. There's my cursor right there. Oh, 
always got to have that one stuck bolt, huh? And it's actually not bad shape under here. It'll move fast eventually. This is actually going to be a two-part video. We're going to build it in the first part. Throw it on a dyno, tune it, get as much power from it as we can. And then the second part, we're going to be on the track with it. Now I have no idea how well I'm going to do. Probably going to hit the wall a time or two. I think we'll start off doing the drag race first. We'll get smoked. And then we'll go to the actual track track. That's what I'm thinking. And if I get beat, I have no excuses. Well, I do, but I'm not going to use them. Taking out the bushings. Take out the other bushing. Take out the T ear. Take off the caliper. The brake pad. The upper arm. The rear shock absorber cap. I don't understand why they're calling it the shock absorber cap because uh, it's not on a shock, it's on a spring setup. Let's get back here. Perfect. Paint it black and put it back. Or should I do it the white that I'm planning on? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, always decisions. Haven't figured that one out yet. We got one more bush and we can actually remove the cross member. Perfect. Let that get out of the way. Take off the rib tear wheel hub, backing plate, and the hub, or the knuckle I mean, the hub. And this car already came with a Coyote motor in it, so all we're doing is just vamping it up, making it a little bit better than what it was. Well, actually a lot better than what it was, but shh, it's on the bottom. And please, while we're sitting here doing this, don't forget to hit that little button down in the right hand corner of the screen and hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you nothing, it's free of charge. And if you find out they don't want to be subscribed later on, you can always unsubscribe. That's the beauty of it. Getting her done. Play effect. Now that fuse box is going to cause me problems. I made an oops. The oops I made is I painted it white. Remember what I said never to do? Paint the fuse box white? Well, you're going to understand why. Well, it's just because I said something, it's going to be not that bad. Got the brake pad. Rotor. Dust cap. Bearing. Hub. Brake dust shield. And now we've got the knuckle D. And take out this last bushing. 
take out this piece, this piece, drop her down. I don't think I put my welder on that shit, have I? No, I have not. 7% bot or frame. I think. Just double check that one here. Pardon me, 64%. So let's go and put this onto here. Let's fix her up. Let's remove this door because I ain't going to be using it no more. Let's take out this tail light. Oh. Ooh, pretty blue gauges. Alright, let's go under here. That rat is brand new. I'm putting it in there to see what kind of fans and stuff it took. Alright, let's go over here. Got one of them. Definitely got one of these. Got one of those. Yep. Perfect. And we I'm pretty sure we got one of these too. Not bad. The only thing so far we've had to get is coils. Now do you understand what I mean? I mean, you can see a faint silhouette of it, but for the most part, it's best just to look down like so. Perfect. Uh, nothing there. That's something there. Awesome. And we'll find out if there's anything missing. We definitely look so the cover won't go on. And no, we are not running the uh, factory Ford Mustang wheels for this thing. Hey, we got them all in. Cool. Alright. Let's move it all the way around. Let's look at this. Let's just look at it. seen this color combination before. Can't remember. But I remember seeing it when I was younger. Hmm. Alright, I'm pretty sure well, we gotta put the battery in too. Got one of them. I think we're all done here. Looks a little empty. Put this back. We don't need that no more. Frame should be at 100 now. Yippers. Raise her back up. And we shall start assembly. Assembly, assembly. Put the exhaust on. Catalytic converter. Catalytic, I believe, is how it's pronounced, but catalytic. The Cadillac converter. Rear muffler A times two. Got one over there too. All right, now we put the cross member in. Like I said, this this time around, like I said, normally I. Uh, paint the cross members and stuff the same color as the body not this time I want to be a little bit different sprinkle inside the arm world as they say ah crap oh over here we go perfect I'm going to start the back on this side work our way forward Red and green should never be seen, only in the washing machine. How many of y'all have ever heard that saying before? My mom used to say it to me all the time when I was younger. Hey look, it's a spearmint car.
put the shock in. Perfect. Let's see, double check, make sure everything looks like it's in place. Now we work our way to the hubs. The bearing. Drive axle. The rear tear. Got four of them bad boys. Brake pods. <laughs> Rumbo brakes and eye box springs. <laughs> what am I missing? Ah. Completely stalls the program. Racing slicks. Because we like the party. This time, I don't know why I'm going from the front to the back instead of doing it the same as the other side because I gotta go to the front when I'm done this anyway. So. the upper arm, or actually we'll put the shock in now, and we can do the upper arm, perfect, and do the rear link with the sway bar, the rear smooth bushy, uh oh, almost lost some cool there for a minute, and do the spring cap, the spring, then the rear shock absorber spring cap. Hey, I remembered it this time. Well, kind of. I'll do all this fun, fun stuff. All right, put the bearing, drive axle, rotor, pads, caliper, and wheel. And because I want to be able to actually stop this car, that's why I put the good brakes on it. Good brakes too. How many of y'all remember the movie that movie that thing's from? Go to the front now. Steering rack, sway bar B, the bushing. Go to the other bushing. The tie rod, the front bushing, the other front bushing. We'll put the other inner tie rod in, and now we can boot scoot and boogie over to steering knuckle D. I don't know why they got to put front because I haven't seen a car in here yet that uh, steers at the back end. Hey, red springs. Red springs, red springs. Put in the sway bar end link. And because it's the strut, it's sway bar end link A. If it was the coilover shocks that attach to the lower control arm, it would be sway bar link B. Awesome. Dust shield. Hub. Bearing. Cap, rotator, the pods, the caliper. Thank you, Brembo. This, I think, actually does the right calipers. I'm pretty sure it is. And no, they're not a sponsor. Give me a second, guys. Alright, I'm back here guys, as I was saying, the uh, Brembo Brakes is not a sponsor. Alright, now we're going to put in the lower control arm, the 
the upper or the front shock, the sway bar and link, and we're gonna put in dust shield, and we're almost done this front end. Fun, fun stuff. Z caliper and Z wheel. Now we, that actually looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm actually quite impressed with it. And when I got it, the rear wheels they weren't out wide enough for it, so I decided to make them a little bit wider than what they would normally be naturally. So this helps probably in cornering. Uh, the front wheels I kept them to be the same size to help with cornering. That way then they don't bind up and catch on anything. As you can tell, that's why there's a little bit of gap all the way around. I uh, made them a bit bigger on wheel size though. The rims that were the factory rims. The factory rims that were on the car were 19, so I put 21s on. Just to spice it up a little bit. Now we gotta go this way. Let's go grab this big motor. And we'll put that bad boy in. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? I think it looks pretty. Oh, I can leave the cover on. Awesome. But we ain't going anywhere if I don't put that fuel rail in. Go, 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 go. There we go. I thought I didn't put it in. Ah, I gotta take this off first. No, it isn't. Huh. I'm losing my mind. Perfect. Now we can do... Put in some coolant. Should have put a little bit more in. There we go. Just a splash mold. Alright, now we're going to fill out the power steering fluid. Good, 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 good. Alright, so we did coolant, power steering fluid, engine oil. We've got to do the windshield washer fluid. And then the brake fluid. Then we bring it over to the paint shop, alignment, dyno, because her name was dyno. Actually, I think maybe we'll bring it over to the uh, assembly area over there first test path let's see we're gonna be putting her on the track uh, let's see Mustang Mustang uh, where are you there it is pretty sure this is the one and we'll go over here and we'll put in kind of a racing style bucket and the steering wheel, which I believe it has its own. Yeah, Ford Mustang. Don't look all that right, that's for sure. But that's the one we'll be using. I'll rip out the back seat. Yeah. To go the front seat. Put in a new back seat. Right front seat, left front seat. The steering wheel. Because we do kind of need to steer around the track. Oops, go like so. Now we, oops. now we can install the body pieces. Perfecto. Wish I could buy aftermarket body panels for this car, since 
the market for these cars is unreal. I got any license plates? Yeah, no, that one stays. I have to get one. I don't know what to get. problems with this front. Oh no, there's lots of space. Okay. Didn't know if the wheel would look like it was going to rub. This looks good black. Alright. Let's give it an alignment. Alright, now to go straight-ish. Drop this down. Perfect. And once it's in, once you see down in the bottom left corner of that little box, it'll say aligned with an X. Once it goes green, she's aligned. That's for the headlights. Let's bring it over now to the, actually not, let's fire it up. See if it's going to actually run. As you just saw, we ain't getting this thing started. Not right at this moment. She came over here on her own hopes and dreams. Now let's move to the paint shop. Now my color I was going to use is way down over here. Oop, not that one. This one. Kind of a bright color. Nah, we'll go with the white. Alright, we got any... Oh, we do. Hmm. It's good to know. I can make a... I can make a Shelby. There we go. Kind of matches the wheels. When you pop the hood, it's different. All right, <laughs> I put it back to the car lift. <laughs> kind of install kind of a crucial aspect of it. I would explain why I didn't want to start. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Put in a stutter. And a drive shaft. Mwah, perfect. Alright, now we're going to run it over to the dyno. But before we hit the button on the dyno, let's see if it's actually going to run. That's not bad. Alright. Right off the hop here, we're going to crank this up. 9%. 9%. Good enough for me because it was at, what, 3? I just bumped it up an extra 6%. I'd say it's probably going to make around 850 to 900. One would hope, anyway.
Let's say 871 horsepower and 752 foot-pounds of torque. That's not bad, I guess, right in the middle almost. Awesome, now we're going to mess around with the gearing a little bit. It's only good for, what, 198? That's no good for the drag strip, so we're going to bump this up. Uh, you can see that that gear is going down, but that's okay. We're going to run 456s. Then let's see. Let's bump this up to 250. Bump this one up to 2. Close enough. This one goes 150. Right on the money. This one will go to 100. And then this one will go to 50. Two forty-six first gear. Hmm. All right. Let's double hit that. Just get on the safe side. Now it's only a five-speed right now. And if I feel that it, we don't have enough gearing in it, I'll put in. I'll drop out this five-speed and I'll put in a six-speed off camera. And that's it. That is the Mustang. Oh, actually, it does look nice. Let's move back to car lift A. And now we're going to bring her out and put her in place of this one. And while we're here, before I end the video, but a customer slash buddy of mine dropped off this, found it in the junkyard. I believe it was a junkyard, maybe it was an auction, I can't remember. It was a junkyard, he said. And um, he wants me to build it like Richard Petty's race car. I, uh, I told him I'm not going to be able to put the numbers or the decals or nothing like that on, but he says just do the best you can, paint it the similar blue, uh, the blue wheels, make it look good. And this one we're still going to be in the process of uh, building here in the next couple of videos, the old 32 Ford Roadster. Now we ain't keeping that little thing, we're going to be putting the big, big, big supercharged engine in it. But, thank you very much for watching, hope you all enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And we shall catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.